Hello Vsauce, Internet AJ here. Vsauce, in my opinion, was the single greatest educational channel ever made. The creator, Michael Stevens, was light years ahead of others around him. And yes, I'm aware light years are a unit of distance, not time, thanks to, well, Vsauce. Stevens didn't rely on animations to entertain fans like Kurt Sagat or crazy experiments like Veritasium. Instead, he brought everyone along for the ride using his entertaining personality and emoji-like facial expressions. He was truly a champion of the emerging edutainment genre on YouTube. He garnered millions of subscribers, won multiple streamy awards, and had his own YouTube Red series, Minefield. However, one day Vsauce simply stopped uploading. He wasn't cancelled, he didn't get boring or repetitive, and he didn't touch kids. <clears throat> EDP. <clears throat> so what happened? Michael Stevens was born in Kansas City, Missouri on January 23rd, 1986. In high school, he was heavily involved in theater, which helped him develop better ways of expressing himself. Proving he was multifaceted, he graduated from the University of Chicago with degrees in both English literature and psychology. Vsauce began his YouTube career by posting comedic videos under the username Pooplicker888. They were so well liked that some even made it to college humor. Passionate about the YouTube space, Vsauce later worked for Barely Political and became known for his bearded nun character. On July 30th, 2007, a dynasty rivaling that of the Ming began when Michael birthed the Vsauce channel. The name actually came from a random name generator. Initially, he uploaded video game-related content along with IMG, a viral image-related series. There was also Dong, a primarily online game and tool segment. After several years, Stevens developed his now-famous video essay style. Michael explored random topics ranging from is cereal soup to what does human taste like. That last one actually has real answers, so watch at your own risk. He was an expert at making science-based videos laced with intricate ideas like a quilt made of neurons. And his fans were more than ready to suckle every drop of information from his massive brain teeth. As a result, Vsauce's videos often averaged millions of views. Naturally, the channel's subscriber count exploded, reaching 5 million by the end of 2013. Honestly, Michael was a master at taking viewers on a logic train ride full of non-stop entertainment. Dare I say it, he made learning fun. Comments like this were found on nearly every one of his videos. If Michael was a teacher, I would have loved school. Even his intros were an absolute work of art. I mean, he once ate a toilet donut that we know of. Yeah. Another time he shaved off his beard for this masterpiece. Michael also launched the Vsauce 2 channel hosted by Kevin Lieber and the Vsauce 3 channel hosted by Jake Roper. Vsauce 2 focused on mathematics and paradoxes while Vsauce 3 discussed the science of fictional worlds. In January 2017, Vsauce's YouTube Red series called Minefield premiered. By then, his main channel already had a massive 12 million subscribers. The first episode, Isolation, documented Stevens' journey in a windowless soundproof chamber for 72 hours. The experience took an incredible toll on his body and showed just how far Michael was willing to go for his fans. This was something that set him apart from the rest. He truly went all out for his content. Unsurprisingly, Minefield ended up becoming one of the most successful YouTube Red series at the time and ran for three seasons. Sadly, this is where the problems began. Michael eventually became so focused on Minefield that he neglected his personal channel. He barely uploaded and the dust metaphorically gathered on his page. I mean, Stevens just didn't have the time between Minefield and his newlywed wife Marnie, whom he married in 2016. This upset many fans who didn't want to pay for YouTube Red. They felt abandoned and locked behind a paywall. Nope, I wish Minefield had its own channel as I have no access to YouTube Red. It's quite distracting to get videos which are behind a paywall in my feed. Yeah, I can't afford to watch them and miss the regular videos. In addition, YouTube Red wasn't available in most other countries outside the United States. I think the problem with this is that YouTube Red isn't available in most countries. I miss Vsauce, but I don't want to pay 3 euros per episode in the Play Store. Also, while Minefield was certainly intriguing, it was quite different from Michael's original content. Minefield was highly produced, involved interviews with experts, and contained sophisticated experiments. One person even said they would pay for the old content. You are not the only one. In the old days, I would come away from a Vsauce video feeling smarter and excited about a subject. The Minefield videos feel dumbed down, slowed down, and staged. I would actually consider paying to watch the old Michael content, but after watching the free samples of Minefield, I was very disappointed. Viewers missed the old days of him talking to the camera like he was a friend. It was just more personable. The new Michael was corporate and constantly plugged his Curiosity Box subscription service. Overall, Vsauce barely posted on the channel from 2017 all the way until February 2020. In 2017, Stevens launched a live tour along with Adam Savage for Mythbusters called Brain Candy. However, the tour was cancelled last minute after some successful shows. The abruptness led to speculation that there was a huge falling out between Adam and Michael. 
However, the cancellation was supposedly due to an unforeseen scheduling conflict likely brought on by Savage's commitment to the Mythbusters franchise. Still, fans were disappointed the duo never gave a public reason for the cancellation. The combination of the lack of posting and the brain candy drama made it look like the channel was done for good. Especially since Michael announced the birth of his daughter Maeve in 2019, it was assumed he was preoccupied. The man mentally blueballed his audience, then edged them before vanishing. He did occasionally post on the Dong channel though, but it wasn't the same. Shockingly, however, like some type of cum demon, Michael returned without warning. Despite years going by, his content still maintained its original energy. He also averaged millions of views per video just like before. Unfortunately, the uploads were sporadic and stopped as of November 2022. Perhaps it was too tall of an ask for Stevens to come back with full force while being a married father of one. After all, he had already made a significant amount of money from the Curiosity Box sales as YouTube ad revenue, the Minefield deal, and the other Vsauce-related channels. He probably was only making videos just for fun. The mid-2010 era of constant Vsauce videos were over. Luckily for fans, though, it appears Michael discovered a time-efficient way to make content and still connect with his core audience. So far in 2023, he has been frequently uploading YouTube shorts. This can of soda expired almost four years ago, July 1st, 2019. And this morning, I discovered that it's been leaking everywhere. It's never been opened. But under pressure, the carbonic, citric, and phosphoric acid in soda can eventually make microscopic holes in aluminum. I decided there's really only one thing to do. Taste test. What does soda taste like that has been eating through metal for years? It smelled like soda, but it tasted like water. It was nice and refreshing, honestly. And that's anticlimactic. I was hoping I would do something like this. <laughs> right, that would have been funny. <laughs> Please like me. They don't require hours and hours of writing and editing and can be made much easier. Perhaps this format, along with YouTube's recent decision to monetize shorts, will make content creation on YouTube worth it for Mr. Michael Stevens. Honestly though, I have always been and still am a fan of Vsauce. I'm super grateful for all he's taught me and want him to be happy doing whatever he wants. Even if it means sacrificing the content me and millions of others grew to love. I support Michael Stevens 100%. And while with the Vsauce channel, Stevens definitely proved what he said in his TED Talk back in 2013. The trick to education is to teach in such a way that people only find out they're learning when it's too late. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.